Hi, you guys. How are my cutie batooties? Guess what week it is this week? Wacky week. It is. And guess who came today to be wacky with me? Our friend Archie. Hi, Archie. Archie is so happy to be invited back, but I thought it's a wacky week, so maybe he should come because he's kind of wacky. How are you doing, Archie? Good. Do you want to say good morning to our friends, Archie? Oh, he does. Okay. All right, Archie, can you say good morning to everybody? Sure. Good morning, Will, Connor, Ivy, Matthew, Ben, Sadie, Patrick, Rachel, Cole, Avery, Liza, Haley, Cameron, Lira, and Opie. Yay! Awesome, Archie. You did such a good job. You know what Archie also likes to do? The weather, which is always wacky. Archie has glasses on, but I'll put my glasses on and let's see what the weather is. It was sunny before, but now, what do you think, Archie? What do you think? Cloudy. It is cloudy. That's okay. You can still get outside maybe and get some fresh air. It is cloudy today, right? Do you think they can still play outside? Yeah, I think so too. All right, we are going to give you some really fun things to do, and I want to see if you're doing them, okay? So take a deep breath. Wiggle out your arms and your fingers. Is everybody ready? Okay, are you ready? Okay, he might not be able to do all the things because he has no arms. All right, first thing, and you gotta do it, okay? Wave to me and jump two times. Ready, go. Jump two times and wave. Good job, awesome. All right, ready? Stomp your feet and touch your stomach. Can you do it? I'm stomping my feet. Touch your stomach. He can't do either. He can't stomp his feet or touch his stomach. But that's okay because it's a wacky week. All right, next thing. Ready? Whisper your name and point to the door. Are you doing it? Okay. Touch your toes and pretend to cry. Oh. <laughs> Are you pretending? Touch your toes. Okay. Hold up two fingers and raise your foot. I hope you're doing it. Two fingers. Can you do it? Whoa! Good thing I have good balance. Raise both hands in the air and say your teacher's name. I hope you're all saying, Mrs. Khan, I miss you. Put your hands in your lap and bark like a dog. So I got my hands in my lap. I know you can't really see. And I'm bark. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. Can you do it? Good job. Pretend to swim and say how old you are. 25. You guys yelling how old you are? I should be hearing threes, fours, maybe a five. Good job. Count to 10, point to your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You guys doing it? Okay, last one. Pretend to eat an apple and give me a high five. Okay, put your hand up to the screen. Give me a high five. Whoop. You doing it? Thank you. Awesome. That was so fun, Archie. Was that fun? That was great. You guys are so good at everything. All right, I'm going to put Archie down because I'm going to need two hands. I want to show you a really fun, easy art project if you have 
shaving cream. And hopefully you do at home. Your mom or your dad has some. I'm gonna show you a fun art project, okay? Archie, I'll see you later, okay? Maybe you'll come back and say goodbye. Okay, everybody say bye, Archie. Bye. Okay, go sit over there and you can watch, okay? All right, thank you. Okay. Shaving cream. Super easy, super fun. Spray it on a plate, a tray, whatever you have. Okay. And you guys love shaving cream, right? Shaving cream. Okay. Now, I'm going to take some coloring, food coloring, watercolor, whatever, and I'm going to just sprinkle a little on and do a little yellow. Okay. Green. Great. Now I'm going to take a knife. You can take anything a knife, a spoon. Okay. I'm going to stir it up. I'm going to make it look, it's like tie dye. Can you guys see? Cool. Woohoo! Okay, now after it's swirled, okay, you're going to take a piece of paper. Okay, and you are gonna push it down on top of the shaving cream and we're gonna make a picture, okay? So I'm just gonna put a little more color, stir it around, make it a little more colorful before we try the piece of paper. All right, okay, I'm gonna put my paper on it and then I'll hold it up for you guys, okay? So here we go, put the paper down, push it, this is what it looks like, I'm just pushing it down on the beautiful shaving cream, okay, now I'm going to peel it off, okay, now it's shaving cream, right? Now the fun part, I'm going to take a knife. Or I actually have a little bit of a scraper. Anything you have will work. I'm gonna use this. And I'm going to scrape the shaving cream off the picture. Okay. And after I scrape it off, I have a really cool tie-dye swirly picture cool right that's awesome and then i have to let it dry mine ripped a little bit so just be careful when you do yours um but it's super cool right you can do any colors fun all right you guys that's awesome i'm gonna read you a very wacky book called Smelly socks. Do you guys have smelly socks? Woohoo! Smelly, smelly socks. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna come up a little closer for you guys. Here we go. Okay. When Tina wanted new socks, her mom took her to the only store in town. This store only has black socks, said Tina. Can we go across the river and get good socks? We can't drive right across the river because there's no bridge there, said Tina's mom. You know, it's a long, long way to the only bridge. And besides, we don't have a car. So Tina went to her grandfather and said, can you please take me across the river in your boat? I want to buy some really good socks. The motor is not working in the boat, said her grandfather. Row, said Tina. We can row. I will row and you can sit in the back of the boat. You will row, said her grandfather. Yes, said Tina. Rowing is easy. You will sit in the back and tell me what to do, said her grandfather. So Tina sat in the back and told her grandfather how to row and her grandfather rowed all the way across the river. And then they walked all the way through the town to a big sock store. 
At the store, Tina tried on socks that were too big, socks that were too little, socks that were too blue, and socks that were too pink. Tina tried on millions and millions and millions of socks. Finally, she found the perfect pair, red, yellow, and green socks. Then, it, since it was almost time for dinner, Tina and her grandfather ran back to the boat, and this time the bo boat sort of remembered how to row. Tina rowed round and round and round and got to the other side. Tina wore her socks for a long time. She wore them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten whole days. Her mother said, Tina, I know you love these socks. Just let me wash them really quick. They will start to smell if you don't get them washed. Socks, socks, wonderful socks, said Tina. I am never, never taking them off. After Tina wore her socks for 10 more days, the kids at school said, Tina, what a smell, change your socks. Socks, socks, wonderful socks, said Tina. I am never, 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 never gonna take them off. After Tina wore her socks for 10 days, a whole flock of Canada geese flew over her house and dropped out of the sky from the smell. Two moose walked by her yard and fell over from the smell. Ducks, raccoons, and squirrels fell over when she walked to school. Because look, her socks are so dirty and so smelly, all the animals are plugging their nose. Pee you! Finally, even a skunk fell over from the smell. Tina's friends decided to do something. They all came to her house and knocked on the door. Blam, 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 blam. When Tina opened the door, they grabbed her, carried her to the river, and held their noses and took off their socks. Look, this guy even has a, a mask on so he doesn't have to smell her stinky socks. Some of the kids held Tina, and some of the kids washed her socks. Scrub, 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 scrub. All the fish in the river floated to the top and acted like they were dead. Because it stinks. The kids washed some more. Scrub, 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 scrub. All the beavers ran out of the river and went to live with Tina's grandfather. And then they washed some more. Scrub, 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 scrub. Far down the river, people said, how come the river smells like dirty socks? Finally, the socks were clean. Wow, said Tina. They look nicer when they're clean. Wow, said Tina. They smell nicer when they're clean. Wow, said Tina. They feel nicer when they're clean. Tina put on the socks and said, I'm gonna wear clean socks from now on. The beavers left her grandfather's house and went back to the river. The Canada geese got up off the ground and flew away. And the fish decided they were not dead after all and they jumped and splashed in the river. Tina went to her mom and said, my socks are so nice and clean. I think it would be very nice if you took me to town to get a nice new red, yellow, and green shirt. Do you promise to wash it, said her mom. No, said Tina. If I wait long enough, the kids at school will wash it for me. Oh, that's pretty funny. Awesome. Whoa, the, they're saying, get away, your shirt smells. And look how dirty her socks are. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Great book. Okay, you guys, I want to show you how to make a really cool instrument using bottles and water, okay? I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it at school, but you know, you have to do it any way you can at home, okay? So I have one, two, three, four, five bottles, right? Make sure you can see them. Okay. I'm going to fill them with water, but I can't fill them all the same height. I got to make them 
higher and then low, 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 lowest, okay? That's tricky, let's see. I bet you guys can do it. So I'm just gonna do it really quick here. Whoops. So this one I'm gonna fill high. This one I'm gonna fill a little lower. Okay, this one I'm gonna fill lower. Okay, this one I'm gonna feel, fill, e fill, sorry, even lower. Okay, and this one I'm gonna fill lowest. Okay, can you guys see all that? Good thing, because I'm almost out of water. Okay. All right, so they're all different heights of water. Low, and then this one goes all the way up to the most full, okay? I'm gonna add some color to them. You can use food coloring, water colors, whatever, but let's make this one yellow, just for fun. Let's make red. Let's do blue. Let's do green. And let's do purple. Okay, all right, we're gonna let those mix. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play them and I'm gonna see if they all make different sounds. Do you think they would make different sounds because the water is different levels? Let's test it out. I found Mrs. Fedke's mallet, and this is a real instrument to use. If you don't have something like this, you try a spoon or something else you could find in your house to use, okay? Let's see if it works. You guys hear that? different sound. I tried the rubber part. I don't think you could hear it very well, but this part, a stick. So I think you could probably use a stick at home or a spoon. Do it one more time. Pretty cool, right? You guys could do this at home. No problem. Okay, you guys, it was so fun being with you. I want you to come tomorrow to watch me wearing silly hat or silly sunglasses or both because it's wacky week so come tomorrow wearing something wacky on your head okay and i will see you tomorrow on tuesday can't wait miss you guys bye <laughs>